hundreds of miles lie between South Carolina's upstate mountains and its low country coast. Yeah, but this month the group is making its way from one side to the other and they want South Carolinians to come join them. Mary Green caught up with them today in the Midlands. Each summer for now the fourth year, the South Carolina seven expedition invites everyone from serious adventurers to those who just want to get outdoors more and see South Carolina's mountains down to its coast. Thursday's leg brought the group here along the Congaree River to Lexington County. You'd be hard pressed to find someone who loves South Carolina and the natural beauty it has to offer more than Tom Mulliken. I'm like a kid at recess. I get excited every morning to come out. I mean, it's crazy. I'm, I'm way too old. I'm bald, I'm white, but I, I enjoy it. And for the last four summers, he's led others to find that joy in the outdoors too. We are taking South Carolina and encouraging people to understand the greatness of our state and the unparalleled uniqueness and beauty of our uh, environment and ecology. On boats, rafts, and their own two feet, a group travels hundreds of miles across South Carolina on the month-long SC7 expedition. Here's a look at this year's map as the group made its way through the upstate earlier this month and is now in the Midlands, and then we'll head to the PD and the coast to close out July. They get a taste of South Carolina's rich history, too. You know, I'm former commander of the State Guard, love Francis Marion, love that story, and we'll be on some of the waterways and in the areas that he operated on when we defeated the British here. This year's stops include a visit to Paris Island to learn about its resiliency efforts and a day spent diving for fossils in the Cooper River. The ultimate goal is to encourage people to explore, care for, and protect the outdoors. We're not blaming anybody for where we are. We're just simply recognizing that we've got a lot to do to protect the Lord's garden. It's worth doing. And the truth is, it's a lot of fun to do it. And the SC7 team also works year round outside the July expedition to conserve South Carolina's natural beauty. They host events to plant trees, pick up litter, and even build artificial reefs along the coast. Reporting Casey, I'm Mary Green. Mulliken encourages South Carolinians to join them as many of their activities are open to the public. You can find more details by clicking on this story on live5news.com.